Hello everybody, welcome back to Trailmakers, where today I'm hoping that I can find a thruster, so that way we can actually get a uh, hover car working. Did a little bit of testing with the hover blocks, and they work great in general. So we need to find a rocket thruster. Now that's probably a salvage that is mandatory for the ship, so I'm going to be looking at ones that will be mandatory. There's an unknown one down there. I don't think that's a thruster, though. There's one that's over there, actually, that I haven't checked out, so let's let's head over this way. So where, where was it? It's this way. All right, where was that? That's over there. All right, let's hope it's not an explosive one, because that could prove a problem. Just in general, a problem. Now, I'm recording this in hopes that eventually I get the A-OK -okay to actually record these. I mean, it's not like there was anything saying yes or no, but I haven't gotten a response back, so I hope it's okay. Flashbulb, please let me know. But, uh, let's see what we have here. This is a power core. Okay, well, that is a power core, so that is mandatory, but let's, uh, Let's focus on the thruster here. Now, there's a raw engine. That's the better engine. This tail fin wedge. It's an unknown over there. Is it over here somewhere? There's a smart cannon. There's a power core. There's rounded corner, paddle, and inverted 1x2. I feel like it would be over here somewhere. There's one up there. Is there anything over here that requires that is required? There's one up there, and one over there. So I mean, we need to get up there, past the desert gate. So that'd be somewhere around here, I hope? So let's head to this recovery drone. Alright, so. We need to get over to there. That's where we need to get to. So, it looks like there's a little ramp over there. Let's, uh... Just face plant here. I'm so glad that just face planting doesn't just cause you to just insta die. Yeah, there's another one of those money bugs. I can live with that. So, let's come over here and see what is actually up here. Alright, so what are you? You are. Alright, there's a land bridge here. What are you? You are a simple tail fin. That's more tail fins than we already need then, right there. Uh, oh, there's a respawn anchor over here. There's a small item here in front of us. Hold on. Is that money or is that... It's an item. Oh, it's a power core. It's small. I may as well grab it. <laughs> I mean, it's right here. It's literally begging to be picked up. Alright, so, over here by this respawn pod, there's another item over there. Alright. And eat this. Power core, that was probably a mandatory one. Yep. This power core is required for your space. Springs. Um, that could be helpful. Can I lift it from here? I could probably do it with the pickup Tonka, like the Tonka truck. But yeah, this this is a lesson in futility here with this small thing. All right, let me. Uh... Whoa! Hi, hi, jeez. Forgot it doesn't like existing. Hold on. All right, let's repair. Alright, now that you have gotten over your dislike of existing, <laughs> let's pick this thing up. I hope. Alright, let's extend the jaw out up as much as we can. And pick up. Nope. Pick up. Come on. Come on. You know you want to come with me. Is it a cube? 
Okay, that's just unnatural. Let me just, uh... Come with me. Come with me! No! <laughs> oh, no. Ow. Okay, yeah. That... That wasn't gonna work. Okay, I need to fix the suspension on this thing. What's making that noise? I have no clue what is making that noise. But let's, uh... Let's edit these to have slightly more extension upon spawning in. Because, oh my god, those things just don't want to exist. Let's just say starting position 002. And then save as lifter truck. Alright, and then back. Alright, that keeps us from going off into the nothing. Alright. I really don't know what that noise is. Am I carrying an item? I'm also not picking up a lot of speed, I'm realizing. Oh, there's an item here, hold on. I can pick this up. What is this? Inverted corner. I mean, it's here. We can grab it. Let's just, uh, dunk this thing into the back. Oh, it's kind of like being clamped down on there in the front. Uh, I should probably not do that in case the game decides physics shouldn't exist. Alright. Well, I mean, we got an inverted 1x2. By two, by 2 Uh... I can snag that one and bring it all the way around to that one on top. Um, you know, this is a small. I could probably just go ahead and bring out the speedster, in all honesty. Doesn't need the carefulness of the, the grabber truck. Let me just, uh... Pop! Yep. You're coming with me, little curve block. Alright, so, where else would there be thrusters? I mean, I guess it makes sense if there were thrusters in the sky, but then how are you supposed to get to the sky? No! How did I mess that up? No! It's supposed to be a simple salvage, come on. Why did you just go? What? Okay. You're coming with me. Thank you. Alright. Now, moving on swiftly. Alright. And... So let's go ahead and bring this thing all the way around once again. So I need to find a thruster so I can make a hovercraft. Problem is, is it underwater or not? If it's underwater, I'm going to need to remake my sub truck. Time. Don't go hopping over the edge. Thank you. Alright. Um, I'm also guessing that we're going to need some form of uh, just making the entire thing lighter. Because hover blocks don't have the greatest suspension. Actually, maybe putting some suspension on the hover blocks would be kind of interesting. I haven't tried that, actually. Hmm. You know what? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Well, anyways. Inverted corner. Almost got tossed off the edge. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, there you go. Inverted corner. Alright. So that is still down there. That's going to suck. Um, also, I realized something. There is the seven or the high seas DLC thing. Is that connected to here at all? Like, out there? If I just not gone out there. Okay, over there there's a few salvages. Let's check over there real quick. I guess the one we're looking for is somewhere over there. Let's just leap. Ow. Let's go uh, amphibious real quick. We're gonna need 
amphibious this way, and we need to go over there. There's still that wing that I'm going to desperately need, and I would love to have. Right, let's go speedster. Oh, I can move this slow. Yep. Speedster. Alright, so. Something over this way. So what is over here? Oh, this is just a, it's a repair bot that I never went to get. Alright. Hi there. What are you? Power core? Power core. Okay, well. Most of the ones here seem to be power cores. Let's break this. Ouch. What did I break? Absolutely nothing. Uh, there was another thing that was around here, right? It was, uh... Oh, it's over there. It's another exploding one. What do you hold? A motorcycle seat. You know... Let's defy the laws of physics again real quick. Yep, 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 yep. Ow. Ow. Alright. This thing doesn't like being summoned. I don't know why. But alright. Motorcycle seat. We line it up. It's about as close as I can do. Yep. Yeah. Ow. Well, I mean, it still works. If I drop it, it's going to go boom, though. Or not. Excuse me, sir. There's such a force as gravity. I mean, I shouldn't be complaining. But... Gravity. Alright. Let's pick you back up. And bring you back in for safety. And then I guess just drive back. Okay. I'm not complaining. That actually worked surprisingly seamlessly. Alright. <laughs> Let's go ahead and drop this motorcycle seat off. Because now we have a motorcycle seat. If we want to make a motorcycle. Probably wouldn't hurt to make a nice, like, speedster cycle. All that back. Because where's our next stop? I want to find a thruster. There's those ones that are over there that are beneath. And then there's one over there that's beneath as well. We've got to get up that hill. Did that hill have something bad on it? I mean, I think the hill had something bad on it. Wasn't it like explosives? All right, let's go down here. Stuck the landing, hey. Alright, so there was something on the underside here. Yeah, let's do this cave, it looks like. Anyone here? Oh, we got money and inverted corner. I mean, inverted corner is a block of all time. Alright, where is the other thing? So there was another thing. Oh, wait, this is just the way all the way up. Did I take the hard way up? It's the inverted corner, and there's something above me still. It's over there. I guess let's head up this way and check and see what else is up there. Alright. Maybe adding some suspension to this thing will help with its absolute inability to stay upright. Um. I think it'd be over there, but I... How do I get over there? The hover blocks would... Let me get up there. What is... Where is the object? Oh, it's below me now. Is it over here? Oh, there it is. Hey. Inverted corner. Okay, then... Uh, I guess our next stop is the Explodey Things Hill. Alright. My initial plan was to just loot everything in the swamp, but I feel like finding these rockets is a little bit more mandatory. Hi there! Oh, jeez! Nope, 
no, no. Okay. I need to remember these go bada kaboom. I don't feel like going bada kaboom. Alright. So. Just slip our way through these flowers at a decent pace. Alright. No need to go fast here. Just need to go smoothly. Alright. Looks like we're good. Alrighty, so. Oh. <laughs> no! My tractor beam! Alright. Alright. Uh, where's the item? I don't see an item. Pull in here very, very carefully in case there's like some hidden land by the flowers. So it's directly ahead of me. There's something there. And to the to the, my right or something? I guess it's up this hill, so let me just, uh... Speed... Oh, there is something over there. Oh, and a respawn point. Ah, that's a lot of flowers. Okay. Let's get the respawn point. Hi. Angie flowers. Let me through. Alright. With the Angie flowers... Okay. Yep, 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 yep. What are you? What are you? Why is this pulsating? It's a power core, of course it is. What? Uh, this time we don't need speed, we need smooth and steady. Wins the race this time. Alright. We've claimed probably our most dangerous power core here. Kaboom. Alright. No, I wonder, can these be tractor beams? Power core is required for no. your spaceship. We're almost 50% of the way done with the spaceship. Alright. So it was... below me? So it was over there. I think. Let me check my map again. It's over there. Oh. No, oh, that's a bug. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, so it's over here somewhere. The bug is not the research item. Is it off the cliff? It is. And it's another Explodios one. Slow, slow, slow. What are you? Wedge corner. I'm not risking it for a wedge corner right now. Back up the hill. Okay. And our next one is over here. Alrighty, so... I'm just gonna do a little bit of speediness here. So we need to get over there. Okay. So... Oh, there's the item. Okay, I see it. Just need to get down. Alright. Simple. What are you? Wedge. What is it with the wedges today? Yeah, there's something that we still haven't explored down there, so I guess it's time to head that way. There's gotta be a rocket somewhere out here, right? I like how this just doesn't decide to just take me out. So, heading this way is still uncharted territory for me. Oh, more landmine flowers. Yep. I just realized the devs could be really evil and hide one of those landmine flowers in a bush. And I need to be very careful about that. Ooh, very nice sun bloom there. Uh, where do I go from here? Is the salvage beneath me? It's back off the cliff here. Yep, I see it. This one's going to be pretty hard to get back to a spot. But, I know. Alright. Tiny cannon. I mean, it's a cannon. Um, there's an unknown salvage that's in the middle of a lake. Let's mark it and try to get there. 
As much as I like Tiny Cannon, I'm not going to be dealing with that right now. I'm trying to get it all the way back to a zone. Whoa, alright, yep. Alright, so. How do we get over there? Do we need to go around? It looks like we need to go around. Alright, well. Actually, I could just skip all the flowers entirely and just jump off here. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, maybe I should make a a car that's meant to take falls instead of whatever the hell I janked together here. Uh, I don't think that wall is drive up right now. At least not for this thing. Hmm. Is there going to be a cave that I need to go up? Oh, wait, I think I remember this spot. Yeah, I remember this one. Okay. So we need to go through that cave. If I'm not mistaken, to get up to there. Alright, good thing that I equip lights here. Actually, I think they also give you lights right here, right? Headlamp V2. And I'm actually going to take that home. Thank you. Oh, this one I can actually stick on the front of things. Nice. Alright. Let's slam dunk that one into here. And then what was the other thing here? I... Oh no! I'm an idiot. Alright. Back to the recovery pod. Alright, so what are you? You are a tail light V2. I think we got the normal tail lights actually. Alright, well, let's grab these and slam dunk these into here. Alright. So now we just kind of head through this cave, I think. So let us go, because I see a salvage somewhere. Alright. I forget how creepy this cave is. Alright, and here we go. There was a pond in here, I think. Yeah, pond. That I think you needed the submarine into. I think. I'm gonna go around the edges in case I'm wrong. But I think you need the submarine into there to get a salvage. Which I don't have a submarine right now. Simple submarine time. Let's go ahead and build a something right quick. So, it needs to be strong enough to get down there. So let's go ahead and make a couple blocks here. I can make like an aqua cycle. You know what? Let's make an aqua cycle. I haven't tried that. Alright. So, motorcycle seat, right here. We need... Uh, that's uneven. No. That there. And then copy to that side. And same to the front. So we're going to need... Oh wait, I just realized I need a diving bell anyways. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, diving bell. Um, let's give it some rear bricks here. A little bit of sustenance that way. Alright. And then expand it back by a few. Because we don't want it to be front or back heavy. So we've got spring suspension. Got pistons. Uh, that's right, we got inverted corners now. Oh, that's right, tail of the headlamps. So let me actually snap a couple of those to the front of this. So we need to make a better amphibious vehicle here. So, what I'm going to need to do here is change up how we did the frame to this. And then, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. There we 
go there, and then stuff a few engines into here. Alright, copy, copy, copy. Alright, so that should make for a good engine bay there. And copy that to the back there. Alright. So far this thing's going to be really front heavy. Which may actually work in our favor here. Because if we do... Uh, where is mechanic? Here we go. Steering hinge. To the front there. And to the front here. Let us add in some wheels. Because we're going to need to give this thing enough propulsion to actually get out of here. And then... I think... Adding a couple underwater propulsion things might also be good. So that one, that one, and then a couple up top should make it at least a water-worthy vessel, I think. Uh, then add a couple of uh, tractor treads on the back, and then so we can pick up an item. I where do I put it? Where do I put the tractor beam? Actually, I could put a couple headlamps on top and put the tractor beam just there in front. Make it really front heavy for some reason. So, tractor beam. So this is just going to be... Oh, wait. I just realized this is the one-way vessel. So there's no way we're getting back out of the water at this rate. Which means... We need... They're in the weight balance. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna need a few of these here, and I should probably add one to the front at least. Actually, I could probably add a couple here to the front, so that way we can actually stay afloat. Let's move that one there and copy it to there. So this will make sure that we stay afloat, if we need to. And then add another one to the back here, and these are all up and down. All those are with Waz. Alright, this should work. Let's say, uh, sub truck. No. Let's say an aqua truck. Alright, aqua truck one. I didn't put the one, but that's fine. Let's see if you work as intended. I didn't put the headlamps on. Hold on. I need the headlamps. I need light. Alright. Uh, those are accessories, aren't they? Lights. Or were they in gadget? Yeah, they're in gadgets. Okay. Uh, actually, I can just slap some right there, so you can still see in front of us. Right, aqua truck. Let's go. So I'm gonna deflate the things so we can get down here into the water. But there's the item. I see it. So now we need to get down here. Hi there. What are you? Gimbal jet! Yes! Alright, attach that to the front. And we just need to get out of here with it. Once we get it out of the water, we can use our better... Our better jets. Right. Let's... Yeah, turn this thing around. Or just pull it out this way. That works too. I was going for the ramp end, but hey... Up and out of here we go! Come on! You got this! Uh, we don't got the jet propulsion anymore. Come on! Come on! If I inflate this, it'll get it out of the water a little bit more. Is the front one's just not getting traction anymore? Okay, yeah, the front one wasn't getting any traction. Now, if we get it so that way, come on, come on, 
you get it out of the water. Well, let me... Oh, it stays there. No, no. Okay. I need to add a few, little bit more power. Hold on, let me... Get that, that, that. That should be enough power, but it's all disconnected. Uh, I need to stack all of this somewhere. You know what? These two, this one and this one, uh, one of them is off by a little bit. Let me uh, rotate and... Uh, okay, you know what? We're adding weight to the sides for this. We just need movement power. We just need movement power. Because we need the gimbal jet. If I remember correctly, the gimbal jet is just basically an omnidirectional jet. Which is extremely important. So, with that much power now, we should be able to drop down. Gimbal jet, get back here. Alright, now back up. Out of the water we go. Alright, hind wheels make contact. Like one of the hind wheels is actually gripping. Damn. Maybe I should try to maneuver it towards the ramp. Because the ramp seems to have a little section to pick it up again. Alright, let's... Let's try to drift it this way. And then... Okay, why is it being so fidgety when I try to steer? There. Come with me. Up this way. Alright. We're getting it. We're getting it. Alrighty. And out of the water you go, Gimbal Jet. Alright. We did it. Only took me 32 minutes to find a jet. But now that we're out of the water, I could probably swap to my uh, grab truck. I mean, it's not too bad. Honestly, I think this is the best submersible that I've made so far. Alright, let's get this thing out of this cave. I also need to worry about actually... Okay, yep. About the engine situation. But, let's release the gimbal jet for a sec, and pull it back onto the front like that. That'll give me a lot more steering control. Alright. So, now that we've got this gimbal jet here, I'm going to make a nice hovercraft off camera. I hope. Nice hovercraft. Alright, come on, gimbal jet. Now's not the time to be defying physics. I got you fair and square. Stop it. Why are you having so much physics issues now? <laughs> Come on, Gimbal Jet. Come on, don't go throwing me off into the ocean, please. Come on, Gimbal Jet. Yes! Alright! This block is a crucial part of your spaceship. Alright, so now it makes me want to try this thing down in the ocean area. And there's that salvage there. You know what? Let's take it there. So we need... Remember, there you go. We need to be over here, I think. So. Mark that on the map. All my stuff's inflated. Let's go ahead and hop into the water. Woohoo! And back up. Woohoo! This actually works as kind of a boat. Kind of. Not a very good boat, but hey, it's a boat. Alright, so. Yes. If I can try to get down there. Actually, I wonder if it'll be faster if I just go to the floor. Okay, yep, I know that I'm upside down. There we go. Alright. Now. It's not much faster, but it's slightly faster. No matter. Alright, 
So, sticking to the ocean floor here is probably our best bet to actually get out of this. So, I thought that was a jellyfish. No, it was just a bubble. <laughs> Alright, so, if we can get into this and get out of this with whatever the core item is, I hope it's not just a power core. It'd be so much work for a stupid power core. I mean, I know that the power cores are needed, but come on. Alright, so down below me should be the cave that I think that one's in, because it has to be in a cave, because this, this is just too shallow. So, let's get in here. Okay, I guess there's not a cave. Oh, wait, no, I see a cave. One of the benefits of having an aquamobile. Alright, so. We come this way. Now, is that the cave? It looks like it is, so. We need a slight little inflate jump. Inflate jump, come on. Alright. Get onto the ledge, and we're in. Alright, so now what is in here is the question. I wish they added like a way into this that was just kind of like a drop in from the ceiling. We're made for a lot more fun extraction of whatever's in here. Alright, so. There's something within 200 meters. Yeah, there it is. Hello, whatever you are. And then once we get it, we can just kind of fly out of here. Looks like the place where those uh, gulper eels would be in, like, Mario. I, I feel like I should be looking out for, like, an eel that's, like, the size of a kingdom. Alright. That's a power core. Of course it is. Well, at least it's a small item, so we don't gotta worry about steering issues too much. I say as I have steering issues. Alright. Let's get out of here with this thing, and then let's float up to the surface. That shouldn't affect our weight too much. I hope that shouldn't affect our weight too much. Aqua Truck is definitely being a lot more of a useful buoyancy device than before. I will give it that. Alright. What if I can like, kind of pre-float with this? I can. Alright, so. Floating is a little faster, I gotta say. of the buoyancy, otherwise I just go flying. Oh, hi. Jeez. Alright. Let's get across the ocean floor now. And then full inflate. Go, go, go. Woohoo! I guess because I added so much more buoyancy devices to the top or to the front, it's acting... Because the front's also top-heavy. Or front-heavy, I guess. So, adding so many to the front... I guess kind of equals it out. This really is working, actually. Alright. And do a little bit of a dolphin dive here. As we make it all the way to Magnet Island. I am liking this design here. Alright. But I'm gonna go ahead and work on working with the gimbal jet off camera, as well as working with the hover blocks. And hopefully we can take a little bit of a sky adventure next episode. I feel like that would be really fun. So, uh, we're running up on Magnet Island here. I kind of like how you can see the, the treads of the, of the truck wheels just kind of there. I wonder if I can just kind of dip down again as well. We can kind of just dip down again. And then reinflate and up we go. This is so cool. Alright. I wonder if there's anywhere else we can go with the story mode. Because, I mean, once we get into the space, I think there is still stuff to do in space. Because I, I remember seeing that there's a new space-bound DLC for it. Or space-bound update, sorry, not DLC. But let's go ahead and drop off this power core real quick. And then, yeah, I'm going to end off this episode. Because collecting these power cores, we are going to need them a lot for upcoming builds, because propellers, hover blocks, and all that all require 
a power core, so we get up here, drop this thing off right there. This is actually a really good design. I'm gonna this power core probably gonna move where those ship. extra things are, where these extra blocks are. Uh, I could probably put them on the underside, actually. I mean, there's space there, there. Uh, are those gonna mess with that? I don't know. Let's try it real quick. So, I mean, if I edit this to put it here, uh, let's at least line it up nicely. Come on, me. There we go. I mean, that, that, yeah, that's gonna scrape across the ground, actually. Actually, we could probably just line them up here. Let's go ahead and flip this one here and there. Okay, well. Yeah, there. Alright. Yeah, so if I just go ahead and move all these to, like, kind of sit down like this, it should just kind of exist. And then and we've got ourselves a nice aquatic vehicle here. Alright. I'll take it. I'll save you as Aqua Truck, and you will be my... Whoops. You will be my... Number three. Hmm. I don't want to save a new aqua truck. I want to use the one that I'm already using. The aqua truck should be number three. All right. Is yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna shift into aqua truck, shift out of aqua truck, and then shift back to aqua truck again. Nice. All right. Alright, and on that note, I'm going to go and end off this episode, so hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Trailmakers. Hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody!